Hello YouTube pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill and in this video I'm having a problem when I don't have a problem on one of my videos, okay? So if this computer is not turning on, this is an HP Prodex 600G1 SFF, but you may have another model, Dell, another HP, Lenovo, maybe you build it yourself, doesn't make a difference, the process is the same, okay? So it's not working. The computer is not working at all. So before we start, I'm going to show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might that I may have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So make sure that everything is well connected, okay? Every cable that is needed from the power supply is connected to the motherboard, the RAM, the processor, the hard drive, everything is well connected, all right? I know this is, um, uh, when you do that, the last and everything is well connected the culprit might be the power supply okay i know this because this computer has been working a few days ago so as you can see this computer is connected to the to the power and now i'm trying to turn it on and nothing happens so i'm going to show you this is my bubble wrap and no air is coming out of the fan from the power supply so i think it's the mother is uh, the power supply so again make sure everything is well connected and we are going to now test the power supply, all right? So I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to open it. In this model, you open it like this to access all the cabling. And we have to look for a green cable. You should only have one green cable coming out from your power supply, all right? So once you locate the green cable, you have it right there. You follow the cable to the motherboard and you disconnect it, all right? So you disconnect it like that. And I'm going to disconnect these other two because I need a um, uh, black cable. So in other models, you might have uh, all these three cables like this, the, the picture in the top left, and you can see the green cable as well. But in this HP model, they split it in three, so that's what we have. But the process is exactly the same. So once you locate the green cable and the black cable, you have to use one of these, well, connectors. And you use this for electronics in school, in college, but I have one, all right? So, now, you check where the green cable is connected is the third pin. You, and you are going to see it in a few more seconds. So one, two, three, and you connect it right there. In yours might be different, of course, but it's, it's kind of the same process. Then you locate the black cable over there. You check where, it's, where it is connected and you, well, connect it back. Well, you connect it. So now I'm going to connect the, the power to the power supply and it should, be, and it should start working. Uh, I'm showing you my bubble wrap, nothing is working, there is no sound, because this power supply is dead. That's what it means. If you, if this, if, if there is no sound, the power supply is not working, so your power supply is dead. Now I'm going to show you a computer on which the power supply is really working, okay? So well, while I'm doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So as you can see, this is the exact same model. It's the exact same model as before. The only difference is that I turn this uh, old computer into a budget gaming PC. So I add uh, um, an SSD, more RAM, the video, the video card, all right? If you're interested in that, you can click in the top right to this, of this screen to watch the video. So now we're going to do exactly the same. As you can see, it's disconnected from the power. And now we are going to locate the green cable and the black cable. So this, like I said, this is exa exactly the same model. So all the cables are the same. I'm showing you that it's exactly the same, all right? So we're going to do the same. We're going to connect the green cable with a black cable using this um, orange, what else it is called, <laughs> cable, all right? Now, we're going to do uh, the connection. You try, I'm trying to locate the, the black cable and we're going to do that. And this one is a little loose, so I have to hold it with my finger. And now we're going to proceed to connect the power to the power supply. So we do that. And you can hear it right away. It starts, it starts working. So my bubble wrap is being thrown away because of the air coming out of the fan. So as you can see, this one is working. I'm going to disconnect it now so you can see it. It's not working. I'm going to connect it back and it starts working again, right? So this is a working power supply. So this is how you can test your power supply. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing. I'm going to connect everything back, and what I'm going to show you is going to depend on the motherboard, manufacturer, you might have it, you might not have it, it really depends. So when you, on your motherboard, when you connect it, when you connect uh, the power, you should have 
kind of a light somewhere. As you can see, I have a green light. I didn't have it in the other one, in the model that is not working, and you may have it on your, on your motherboard as well, or maybe not, I don't know, but that's another way to check. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to order the replacement from eBay secondhand, and then when I and then I'm going to show you how to replace it. Okay, so when I get it and I do that video, you can check it in the top right of this screen or in the video description below. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.